everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw a cute chihuahua step by step. First, I'm going to begin with the basic shapes of the chihuahua. So I'm going to start by drawing the head, which is just a circle. And the chihuahua has a circle head to then to make it look more of a cartoon character or a cartoon chihuahua. So now once I fin once I finish drawing the head of the chihuahua, I can start by drawing the front of body of the chihuahua or a smaller circle. And that smaller circle is gonna connect to the head. It's just gonna be touching the head. And the reason is, is that because chihuahuas have short necks. So, and I, I need to put the little front body closer to the head, so then the chihuahua doesn't have a very long neck. Next, I can draw a smaller circle that's going to be for the back of the body, which is also going to connect. So it's just like three circles connecting to each other. Next, I can connect all these circles with a few lines. So I can connect this circle with a straight line. And I can connect this circle with a line that curves in and curves out. Next, I'm going to add the ear. First, after making a few slight adjustments to the head and making the head look more realistic, I am going to add the ears on either side of the head, both sides of the head, after I raise these guidelines. So I'm going to add one ear from the side of the head. And the ear is going to have a line that goes out and then comes back in at the top of the head. The ear should be very large to make it look um, more cartoon. Like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the other ear on the other side. Comes out to the same point and it goes back in. The ear is going to be a, coming out from a bit farther. So from a closer point to the other ear. Just like this. So then the ears aren't too far apart. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the two ears with a darker line of the head. And to begin with the basic shapes and the basic features of the head, I'm going to add two curved lines to let me know where my, all the features are going to be. So for the eyes, I'm going to draw a circle a very large circle or large for an eye of a chihuahua and then I'm going to add a small curve inside the eye like that. The curve is actually going to go a bit farther or it's going to be curved a bit more so now it looks more like an eye or a pupil. Next, I'm going to add another circle inside for the highlight of the eye. 
And then I'm going to start with the other eye. The other eye is going to be poking out of the um out of the head or like it's standing out. So it's not going with the outside of the head. It's just standing out a bit more because of the perspective that the that, that I'm drawing. It. So I'm just going to curve it a bit more. And then I'm going to add the other another curve just like I did on the other eye and the highlight. Actually going to curve the eye a bit farther so it looks doesn't look too sideways. Just like that. Next I'm going to add the white fur or where the white fur is going to be colored later on in this video. So it's just a small strip. Just like this. Next I'm going to add the nose. So the nose is going first I'm going to start by drawing a line and two outer lines. Next, I'm going to connect those two outer lines together. Uh, just connect them, just like this. And then bring them back in to this middle point in the nose. continue with the mouth later but right now I'm going to add the snout next to the eye so I'm going to add a curve out and then kind of curve it back in for part of the snout actually going to move the nose just to a farther point and make it a bit larger from the perspective that I'm drawing it. You can actually draw it the um to facing the other side. Doesn't really matter. It's because it depends what perspective you want the Chihuahua to be in. Just like this. I'm going to redraw this eye to make it a bit darker. And then I'm going to curve this in to this point. And then from that point. I'm going to make it look like it's a bit lower than that. And then from that point, I'm going to curve it to the other side. And then I'm going to curve it up into a smile. And I'm going to add the lower lip. which is just a small sideways J. Next I'm going to add this inside of the ear, which is pretty easy. All you need to do is just draw a curve on either side. Like this. And then just one curve on this side. Just like that. Once I'm done with that, I am going to add the legs. So the legs, the first leg starts from the chest and goes down 
here is floor point. If you want, you can draw the floor point with a ruler. Just like this. And then, just right before the f uh, it reaches the floor, you can draw a small paw. Just a very small paw. That. Then you can add the inside of the paw. And then draw the other paw in the foot, not very far from the first leg. And redo the same steps for the paw. Just adding the feet and the toe, just like that. Next, you can fix the curve that you drew, drew. That was only a basic example curve. And make it slightly larger for to end in the back leg. You can also draw part of the back leg from the back side, like this. And then just add a small curved point that goes down all the way to the ground and curve it for the foot. For this curved line right here, you can extend the curved line and then curve it down for the foot and then add the foot. You can repeat the steps that you did. And for the other two of feet and the toes, just like that. Next, you can draw the other foot in the back part. So it's going to be slightly smaller because it's far on the other side of the chihuahua. It's going to be right there. And then you can repeat the same steps you did to add the toes. Just repeat those same steps and you will be done with the feet. Actually, going to make the foot a bit bigger because it's in the back leg. Just slightly bigger. You don't have to, depending on the size of your chihuahua, anyways. Because if your chihuahua is very small, you won't have to make the paw extremely big or as big as mine. Because then the chihuahua will have a giant paw or giant paws. And then I can add the tail which is just like to one curve out, me to a point, and then curve back in. Just like that to make it look like a cartoon tail. Next thing I could do is I can erase all these basic lines and make it look and add the smaller details. One thing I can, you can add is the small spot that Chihuahua has on his back. Just like that. And next, you can add the collar that Chihuahua has. So you can add one curve. Just 
just a very just a curve that goes from one side of the neck to the other side and then from there you can curve add another curve for the first part so the in or the part of the collar and then you can add a small little oval or very short oval with a heart or any shape you can add a bone because that's going to be his name tag so just add a small heart with the oval connecting to it just like that and next thing you can do is erase a few of these lines like this line right here doesn't go all the way you can just add a few small curves and make sure that the chihuahua doesn't have any base sick lines like the lines that we drew in the beginning of the, for the head you can erase all those lines and once you're done erasing all the lines you can begin coloring and I'm going to uh, speed the coloring up but I'm going to tell you what colors you would need and why so the first color you would need is this camel color for the for the eye color of the chihuahua and just make it very light otherwise if it's too dark it, it could make the eye look pretty bad and the next color is white to add the highlights and also the outside part which the chihuahua uh, which the fur is also white you can leave if you can leave it just plain white but I'm going to color it so just a white color and then I'm going to get this smoke color for for the uh, tag that the chihuahua has and then I'm going to get this tan color and for the spot that the chihuahua has and also the fur on the outside of the white fur a, also a black colored pencil and finally I can get a, any color I choose for this one I chose pink for the collar and also I'm going to very lightly shade on the around the chihuahua to make it stand out but you can choose any color you want like blue or any color you like and now I will begin coloring <laughs> Thank you. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I will see you soon. Bye.